What's going on? It's your boy, SB. All right, so yes, you read that title correct. <laughs> I know it sounds a little crazy, but you feel me? This is a reality. So this is called Amazon Corporate Gave Me Gray Hair and a Belly. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Don't be looking at my hair right now. Y'all probably like pause, zoom in. Oh, okay, I see. No, nah, don't be doing that. So as crazy as this sounds, this is actually one of the first things that was introduced to me when I even came to corporate. I remember like it was yesterday. We was on this special assignment. It was called um cold pricklies. You know what I mean? We would track the orders for the military. They said it's like the most important thing in the world. This will help you get a raise. I haven't got an interview yet. Anyways, we were in one of the offices and one of the managers who was covering for that day was like oh yeah you know welcome to corporate um i hope you guys are ready for your i forgot what they called it. it's called like the three-month belly or the it was something something belly and i said oh, hold on hold on excuse me sir we'll run that back what'd you say he said oh yeah and he kind of laughed it off yeah everybody here you end up getting a belly it's just what happens and at that time you feel me i'm fresh out the warehouse you feel me face chiseled <laughs> body all chiseled up and at that time i'm like ha ha listen I ain't getting no belly. Y'all can get a belly around the table. I ain't getting no belly. Six months later, I got a belly. <laughs> Yo, and the funny thing is, it just crept up on me. You feel me? Like, I didn't even really pay attention to it until I, like, walked by the mirror one time. And I had to walk back. Like, you ever gave yourself that look? Like, you disappointed in yourself <laughs> and i wasn't discouraged and like i actually laughed it off because i've never really felt like that i never really had like a belly i've been in amazon the last what four years before that was doing arm patrol before like i've always been real active always been in the gym what happened is once i um started doing amazon delivery i was working so many hours i really didn't even have the time but when i saw myself and i actually noticed it when i was walking the dog i think i said that on the live the other night when i would walk the dog um it was one time i felt like he walked me <laughs> i mean usually he we come back in from the walk he breathing all hard and racing to the water but one day you know what i mean he dragging me all around I come back, I'm huffing and puffing, I'm looking for my water, and he looking at me. <laughs> He's like, did you enjoy your walk? <laughs> and then that's when I was like, you know what, I got to get this back into shape. But all this is fun and games when you just sit back and you look at it and you think about it, you laugh about it. But <laughs> that ain't healthy. <laughs> I mean, what workplace do you come into and at the entry they talking about, Oh, yeah, get ready to have a belly. That's not healthy. But and then with the gray hair, this is the only job I've ever worked that gave me gray hair. Now, the belly, that's one thing. I get it. It ain't healthy. We're sitting down for 12 hours. Your blood is moving. So, you know what I mean? Your blood's not pumping your cardiovascular system. Sitting down 12 hours, that ain't good. But on top of that, the stress, I didn't even realize the gray hair until <laughs> shout out to my good old family you know I mean? hey at least i got a family that's gonna let me know <laughs> we was on a zoom call you feel me i'm on the phone with my grandma everybody else uncle mom everybody was on there but as we talking we was talking about something it was laughs you feel me joy you feel me peace it was all good and then out of nowhere i just see my grandma you know the little squares on the zoom it's like 12 squares on there but i see my grandma just she, you know she's quiet and she's just and her face is getting closer and closer to the camera like. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself like, what is she looking at? Maybe she has a camera on herself. She probably got something on her face or in her nose. You know, I'm trying, to, trying to clean it up low key. But lo and behold, just cuts everybody off. SB. She don't call me SB. But she's like, uh, SB, um, why you got so much gray hair? <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> you know I me, mean? like I appreciate it. Thanks, but we all start busting up. But you want to know what my response was? You know I work at Amazon, <laughs> and then everybody start laughing. But the sad thing is, why is that true? And then after that call, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I looked in the mirror, but to me, it's been slowly creeping in, so it's not really a big deal. But what I did, I looked at some pictures from the year prior. I had no gray hair. It's in the thumbnails on the YouTube. If you go back to my videos. I'm um, on the thumbnails, which is the picture on the video, um, where I'm in the warehouse and I got like the PA vest on. You get a clear shot on the side of my head. Ain't no grays to be found. So how in the world do you go from no gray hair to, you feel me, sprinkled in a year? <laughs> so then again, I laugh. I chuckle a little bit. But then I'm like, hold on. 
what is my body telling me? Like gray hair don't just grow because you live in Arizona. <laughs> you feel me? Because you change locations, gray hair start growing. Gray hair don't just start growing because it's hot. You feel me? Gray hair don't start growing <laughs> because you started a YouTube channel. Actually, it probably could. <laughs> but I really sat and thought like, this, you feel me, this really can't be healthy. So when you heard me in a few videos talking about how stressful it is, he may just be like, oh, he may just be talking, yada, yada, yada. But then gray hair. Comment in the comment section. Have you ever worked a job that gave you gray hair? I've never really heard of this. So then I'm like, yo, that's physically. You feel me, the belly? <laughs> but hold on, the belly gone. So, so don't be in the comment section talking about baby bumps. I think they called it baby bumps. Is what they called them. Is what they said everybody's going to have when you work here. Baby bumps, something like that. But you feel me, I've been back in the gym. That part's cool. I'm good. I'm back in shape and going to be in the best shape I've ever been in. But physically though, look how that had me. That's not good. And then mentally to stress that much to where you have gray hair, that was what, a year? What happens if I stay here two years? What happens if I stay here three years? <laughs> God forbid, what happens if I'm here five years? That's just hair. What's going on on the inside? Even what type of stress mentally will this do in the long run? I got to get out. <laughs> Y'all better help me. Email Jeff. Email Cousin Jesse. Say, hey, get SB up out of there. <laughs> We're watching him turn gray on YouTube. Get him out. <laughs> but seriously, though, um, I don't know what to do <laughs> because that really doesn't seem healthy at all. And when you get hit both ways, you know, physically and, you know what I mean, mentally, that's a serious question. At least I'm aware of it. You know how many people I've talked to at corporate and somehow we'll get on fitness and just most people just like, man, I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time. That is not healthy. Listen, if you work, I do got people who follow me from corporate. We need to make sure that we're on it. The funny thing is we got a gym at corporate. I never got a pass. <laughs> I filled out the paper, never got a pass. But even besides that, it's like when you have to work 12 hours, you feel me, and you're in the office, the first thing you're trying to not do <laughs> is go to the gym on the property. So it's like, at least I guess they kind of tried because they got a gym there. But the people who do watch me at corporate, who's you feel me up there, you know who you is because I know you is. I think there needs to be more emphasis and this is at all jobs, especially when you're sitting down and stuff, it needs to be more emphasis on physical health because Amazon and a lot of companies are big on mental health. Oh, mental health awareness. We got to make sure everybody's mental health is right. Yada, da, da, da. You want to know what helped me a lot with mental health? Physical health. <laughs> you know I me? Mean? It's connected. I think they should encourage people, hey, go take a walk, some, some type of physical activity because when you add all those things in, it doesn't look good. It's not a good mix. Sitting all day, stressed all day, no working out. Most people up there all day in the office, all this is all you hear. All you hear is energy drinks snapping all day. And then you add on the stress of going back to the office. You add on the stress of cost of living. I think this is going to be an issue, not just where I work in Amazon corporate, but I'm sure, let me know, is it like that at your job? Because that's been one of the biggest things with so many people that I've met at corporate, they all say, man, I've gained so much weight, I gained 50 pounds, I gained 60 pounds, I've gained 100 pounds, like that's a big thing. So drop your opinions, help me out, I'm going to do some research, I'm always doing research, but I haven't researched that, um, what is my body telling me when I have gray hair? How long y'all think <laughs> you feel me? I have until I got to get up out this situation. Good news and the great side of it is, like I just stated in the video before, if you didn't see it, um, I have the roll down more than I did. I do believe that gray hair was due to the stress that I was under of not knowing the position and the challenges I was having on getting all the information and applying the information. But now that I got it down and not just that, but I've actually been thriving and getting accolades and getting called out on how good I've been doing, I'm hoping you feel me that stress level will go down. But if anybody who works at Amazon knows about the dock, you feel me? That's like one of the most stressful places to work at. So what am I doing to combat that situation? This last month, I've been going crazy. If y'all subscribe to the channel, you know my shorts. Um, I've been going to the gym at least five days out the week. And that not only helps me with my physical, you feel me? Making sure that baby bump is gone and stay gone. That also helps me with my mental as well. That's one of the best feelings. You feel me? Once you go to the gym, you give it your all. You got your music blasting. You hitting the weights. You get in that treadmill. You running. Let me calm down. You feel me? I don't be running that long, but I power walk. <laughs> I'll be doing like five, six miles. But even after that, the mental clarity is just on a whole nother level. Your mood elevates. So I think as long as I don't let that slip and stay on top of it, 
maybe I could stick it out here. But I don't know. Drop y'all opinions. Drop y'all um, comments in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on this. If you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so you can see whenever I drop a new video. Yes, I'm also an artist. I go by the name of SB. I have my latest project out. It's called Dreams and Motivation Volume 1. That's on iTunes, Spotify, all the online digital outlets. Link will be in the bio if you want to check it out. Be sure to go stream it, run it up, show your boys some support. Also, we go live on every Thursday at 7 p.m. Be sure to tune in. So other than that, I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. It's your boy, SB. Let's go. I'm on my grind. 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 I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind. 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 I get up, I get out and get to it. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind.